So, yep. So we're here with uh, Coral Reefer. Give, give them your uh, website address so they can Coral Reefer 420.com is my blog, and there's also newsnug.com with right. news about cannabis and what's current. And that's that's something I wanted to talk about too, because uh, you're taking this from uh, you know, getting a lot of hints for you know here we are, we're getting on cam, we'll smoke some weed, yeah. but now getting into the education, the news, yeah. you know, making it uh, making it. Valuable it's kind of what I talked about with my friends. You know, we'd be smoking and we'd be like, well, why is this illegal? Like, this is fun. We're hanging out. It makes me feel better. Like, I feel like I'm doing better in life. I'm getting better grades. Like, yeah. my parents are cool with it, so I want more knowledge. I want to know what's going on with why it's illegal. Yeah. You know, and you start looking into it. You start reading the books and you start seeing the studies that have been done but weren't published. And it gets frustrating, so you want to tell everyone else. Was your first uh, foray into the into the books and all this stuff, was it uh, Jack's book? Was it Emperor? It wasn't my book. Was the it? first book I picked up was so silly. It was the Cannabis Connoisseur, I believe, uh -huh. and it was at like Urban Outfitters. See. Just started toking and it was really colorful. Went for it. Had some recipes from Santa Cruz, my hometown, so I was I was hooked. All right. <laughs> well, we, we've got our uh, 420 somewhere raffle coming up here in just 45 seconds. We're doing a raffle at 420 in every time zone in America. I love it. So it's hitting 420 in the central time zone. Do you got any followers? Anyone you give a shout out to in the central time zone? Everyone in Texas, I think, That's right? Texas yeah, I love central. the Texas tweets. All the tweets on Texas. So many Mr. and Mrs. Rips and fly for 20. Oh my gosh, everyone. <laughs> All right. Well, let me get the uh, let me get the raffles over here. Hey, yeah, Perry. awesome. I'm an expert raffle raffles. ticket drawer. We yes, did this in Hempfest. That's right. We did this in Hempfest. Yeah. Uh, no, no, the drawing, the drawing, the drawing. Trying to communicate here across the noisy room, and this is the way it usually goes. So here we go. We've got all these tickets here that are available. Um, okay. Show up there. Okay. Tickets. And Every fourth one. Shake them up. And the lovely Lady Gaga room. shakes when she shakes the raffle ticket. Going so. to pick her. Pick the raffle ticket. And just read the number off the front of that. The, whole uh, the, ba the, ba uh, the other side, the oh, ticket number. Not, okay, the no, ticket. not the guy's phone number. Okay, I was just wondering. We call. Don't okay, it, it is two eight seven eight five eight. Two eight seven eight five eight. I like that. Is our winner, and, and here, check out what they win. They get a Rick Steves hemp backpack. Ooh. They get uh, oh, I see a that. normal show live T-shirt. They get a gold leaf pin. They get six normal buttons. That hemp's gonna last forever. Uh, they get a normal <laughs> sticker and a lighter leash, plus mystery gifts as we've been collecting. Because we've got all these vendors, and they say, "Oh, here, give this away." So that's with us. Thank you for picking it out. Yeah, congratulations. Can I say the person's name? Uh, if it is, yeah, go ahead. Mindy, congratulations, Mindy. Mindy. All right, now we're also gonna do this because we're doing a Twitter uh, giveaway as well. Because you know, Ooh, some people, love Twitter. some people aren't as blessed <laughs> as we are. And they don't get a chance to come out to these things. Oh my gosh! So and, many and people wish they were here. That's yeah, why the, we're taking pictures. <laughs> and there's and there's some place where life really sucks. So uh, <laughs> we'll see if we can get them a tweet out. First of all, I'll give a, uh, a shout out to NorCal Perps, who is a winner of our 420 East. <gasps> Congratulations, NorCal Perps. He's a winner of our of our uh, 420 nice. East. I know. And so now, our, for our next one, the next person who retweets. Dun, dun. Uh, we're going to, what's your uh, Twitter handle? At Coral Reefer 420. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put together a tweet that requires at Coral Reefer 420 in it and the 420 Central tag. And whoever retweets that first will be the winner of our internet route. Okay? Yeah. All right, sounds good. So, uh, any plan, what do you, whether just hanging out here for the High Times Cup, doing any Yeah, I had my fingers crossed that I'd make it down here. I've seen a lot of good friends. We're going to maybe hit at Venice Beach. Yeah, want to yeah. smoke for sunset, see how that is. Perfect. And, and are you doing any vlogging here, uh, videoing? As much as I can, but i got to say I'm really enjoying it more than I'm doing the vlogging. <laughs> but I'm doing a lot of pictures, and I've got Polar Reefer 420, like, getting picture updates as much as possible. All right. Well, I'll let you get down to that. i got to get the, the tweets uh, sent out and everything. Thank yeah, you for being our raffle girl. It's great and, uh, to see you again. Oh, nice to see you. We'll see yeah. Again next time. Awesome. Coral Reef for 420. Day. Check it out on YouTube, the News Nugs, all that good stuff. And of course, at an event near you. She's friendly. Say hi to her. She'll say hi back. All right. Our winner, our ticket winner, 287-858, Mindy S. We're going to uh, text you out and let you know that you're the winner. And uh, let me get that tweet out, and I'll return you to audio from the panels inside. You're listening to Normal Show Live's coverage of the High Times Medical Cannabis Cup. Well, I, I don't have a lot to say about this, except that, you know, the 
prohibition in marijuana has been underway for 100 years. It's 100 years, I can't believe that. Started in Massachusetts and we've been fighting it ever since. And uh, I heard somebody speak the other day from our campaign, the Repeal Cannabis Prohibition Act campaign, Pebbles Trip It, about the marijuana wars. And that's how I'm starting to think about it now. And I want to start using that vocabulary. You know, it's, we've been fighting a marijuana war for 100 years. Well, it's a ridiculous 100 year war that the government's been waging on their own people. You know, we're the troops. Are we ready to end a 100 year war? I don't feel like we're quite ready. We're at war and, we, and I feel like we're not prepared. And I think that, uh, that what we see now, you know, we talked about it, Canada Business got a little bit out there. We're dealing with this backla backlash. Uh, you know, it just becomes clear how unprepared we are. And it's almost like now instead of um, coming together and preparing and getting a game plan and developing a war chest that people have hunkered down in their own bunkers in their basements, that's not going to work. That's not how you fight a hundred year war when the government goes to war against their own people. It's by coming together. It's by developing a war chest. It's by coming up with a plan, a strategic plan. And uh, what I was talking about again on the airplane with my friend, the green lady, you know, the people that succeed, the pharmaceutical company and the oil company and um, what's the third one? Oh, <laughs> uh, there's an, uh, <laughs> what is it? Insurance. Insurance companies. It's because they lobby millions and millions and billions of dollars are spent on Capitol Hill. Billions of dollars are spent on politics. Their war chest is billions of dollars. You know what? We don't have a war chest. We don't have a war chest. Okay? I'm not kidding. There's no chest. So what we really need to do is focus on our war chest, on our strategic plan. We need to get together and pull our money so that we can get billions of dollars together, so that we can lobby Congress, so that we can make a change. Because imagine it cost us $200,000 to make a change in San Jose. How much is it going to cost us to make a change in Congress? It's going to be a lot more than $200,000. And I'll tell you what, we worked so hard to get that money together, incredibly hard. We did everything, backflips to get